Hello, everybody, and welcome back for part two of the ACD testing here at Daytona ESDA circuit. And we're starting off with another BMW. We have two more BMWs to do, and this one is that F22 Eurofighter. I love the wheels, and I've always loved this car. So we're going to see how this one does for the first car, and then we'll move on to the next and final BMW, I believe, in the pack. And then we got... A big car coming up after that so let's go full send with the f22 and see what we can do all these cars like i said all we're doing if you guys were at the last episode we're all we're doing is doing brakes adjustment to see which car feels the best in my hands initially without doing any tuning and then we can fine tune cars from there first run of the f22 this car has a very reminiscent feel to the VDC F22. Ooh. That was a pretty solid run. If I do say so myself, we have a pit button on the steering wheel. Gonna hit it at that time. I'm, last episode, I kept hitting my keyboard, which, you know, it's not a big deal. It's right here, but still. So overall, that was a pretty solid run with this car. We're gonna try starting in second since we have to go in a fifth. Okay. Um, we're actually gonna get a rerun on that because that was. A I don't even know. That was not happy on the handbrake pull. We'll do our first gear since we did last time. We got one audible on this car. Not like braking in that section, and we kind of ended up in the wall. So, we got one run to look at with this F22. So, we're going to see if this run looks good because we don't want to keep running it because that's unfair to all the other cars that we're going to be running. The car does look amazing though. ACD did do a great job with these cars and the liveries do look pretty awesome. Yeah, that was a pretty solid run. Uh, just ticked into that zone. We did paint that zone pretty well and just ticked into that one. So we're a little out of the zones but overall flow of the run was pretty good so we're gonna do the same thing in this episode as we did last time you guys are gonna pick down below in the comments which car you think in these groups of cars that was did better i'm curious what this handbrake issue was because i don't know what i think is it a my handbrake just sat way too long yeah i'm not sure what happened there i wasn't even on the brakes so we're gonna get the next car out one final bmw and then we're switching up to some american cars X car is this a big girl the m4 the drift brothers m4 uh this car is so nice and super aggressive you guys know i had an m4 that i was building which i may bring back but uh we can see how this m4 does so oh boy this this is a big car this is a long car it's just as long as the rtrs so it's pretty long Let's see what we can do Uh, there's the big car. I knew that was going to happen. So let's see what we can do in the M4. Without hitting the wall this time. Alright, there we go. We didn't hit the wall this time. This car feels quite nice. Oh, it's the second car that I tried that feels the nicest so far. Last episode, the E30 felt good to me. That was the second car I ran. So that was a solid run. So we're going to do one more since we kind of tanked the wall on the first one. And see if we can do another solid run. But this M4 does feel pretty good.
such a tight section there, I don't want to smack the wall. A lot more committed in this car than I feel like I've been in any of the other cars I've driven. Uh, <laughs> I overall, I kind of liked how that car drove. So let's take a look at those two replays and see where we're at. First one, tank the wall. Yep. So we're going to watch from the, after the wall tank. It's such a big car. The M4 is such a big, wide car. That was a pretty nice entry and quite flowy there. Stayed well away from the wall that time. Really deep in that zone. Extremely deep in that zone. Kind of painting on that yellow line. Nice in that zone. Would have tagged those two out. And right in there. Second hash there. Ran that all the way out. Nice and smooth. So overall, I think that was probably the cleanest run that we've had out of all any of the cars we've tested. But you guys will be the judge down below. <laughs> I thought I was going to take that wall again. You can hear the feathering of the clutch. That one kind of floated a little bit, kind of slowed down a little bit there, but overall not too, too bad. It did drift a little bit wide there, we punted that, but we ran that a little bit shallower. So, the M4, definitely a solid contender. A little 360 for style. So, let's get in the next car, which is an American car. I've driven it once before, but not on a track like this. You guys may remember me driving this car on a tight toge row, but now we are in an actual course with this car. The, the Viper that is of Dean Carney, but it is now in an ACD paint, not the Dean Carney Viper NFT. So a big girl car also with a lot of uh, horsepower. Not sure what gear we're going to... Oh, jeez. Yep. As I said, we hit the cones. We fifth gear. Steering wheel is definitely a lot lighter in this car than the other cars. Oh, and yeah, there's a there's a bit of a weird uh, over rotation on that run, but overall not too bad. So let's I want to take a quick peek because that was weird to me. We're going to put the brake bias back to seven. The 74, where all the other cars were. This is one car I noticed. The brake bias was down to 74. Or down to 64. So, second run with the Viper. We know it's going to be a fifth gear hit, so. Let's see if we can't get a clean start. Okay. Cut the grass. Yeah, the steering wheel does, definitely feels way lighter. There's a bit of an over-rotation feel on this car. Definitely, I feel not a comfortable car for me to be driving. But maybe if I got used to it, but we're going to give the car a benefit of doubt and try one more. I noticed Feather in the Throttle was helping a little bit, so we're going to have one final run, give this car one final chance for me before we switch to another car. just because the car has so much weight in the front compared to the rest of the car but we managed to get a solid run in okay so we'll take a look at that run for this car because that was probably the better of the three so we'll see where we're at with this you guys can let me know down below if you think this car was better in this group of cars definitely a fun car to drive but definitely very uh loose in the rear and the front end felt a little bit light in the steering compared to the other cars that I've driven so I don't know if that's just the car the setup or whatnot because this one had a weird setup compared to the other ones but overall not a too terrible run so we got one more car that we're going to run for today's episode so let's go get it and end this episode off on a bang
And when I say bang, I mean rotary bang. The RX-7, definitely a smooth, clean RX-7. So we're going to finish this episode off running the FD RX-7. Oof. The rotary lag may get me, but we will see what we can do. This is a third gear rotary, the third gear red line banging car. So we can get that on the next one for sure. And actually very surprised with how this car drove. But like I said, we're going to do it in third gear. Because if you guys remember back in the Forza days in the uh, SRS series or SSR, I was running a rotary. I was running a F, an FC, so third gear hit for this, for the second run to end this episode off. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna give that a benefit of a retry. Because we kind of uh, huh, looped that a little bit too much. That was definitely my mistake. This car up in the power band. Definitely have some clutch kick to keep the car from dying out. Keep it in the RPMs and just bang in the red line. <laughs> just assaulting red line in this car. So let's take a look at those two replays. And so make sure you guys follow me on all social media, which found in the description box below. Let me know down what car you think out of these four was the best of the group. We have another episode with more cars of the ACD car pack. So we're like, yep, nope, we're gonna have to go into third. Short, short, back in the third. The rest of the run was not too bad. There's a little bit of a weird uh, blip in the track there with the graphics or something. So we're going to take a look at that third run because that third one was probably the best. So, as always, thank you guys for coming back to another episode. Appreciate it if you are not subbed. If you tap that subscribe button, appreciate all the support. Appreciate everybody coming back and the community coming back and watching these videos. So digress this run real quick and just listen to the rotary bangs. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back. Let me know down below which car of this group you think was the better of the cars. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.